If you just bought a Radio Masters or a transmitter or you're new to Edge TX, I'll take you through step by step how to do some initial setup and create a new model to bind to your quad ready to go flying. Hello and welcome to the Willy Boat channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. You never quite know when you get a new transmitter how the defaults are set up. So here's a few essential things you should check before you start. You set up the defaults for the radio on the radio setup page, as you'd expect. So long press this button and scroll across to page three. This is the radio setup page. There's a whole bunch of things you can change in here, like backlight brightness, time that the backlight's on, beep volume and all that sort of thing. What I'll take you through are the essentials that you need to check. And you should do this on any radio. Don't just turn it on and go flying. So if we scroll up here to the RX channel order, this is the order that the channels are in. Everybody tends to be different, but the majority go for aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. That simply means that you've got aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. That's just the channel order. You can change that if you just select that, but I'm going to leave it at aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. And I'm in mode two. That simply means that the rudder's on this stick, throttle's there, the roll and pitch are here. It'll say elevator and aileron and throttle, but that applies to the wing, but that's the way it goes. So that's all fine. So if we now scroll down, and good thing to do is to change the date. So we're in 2022. And it's, well, I'm just gonna change the time as well. Nice and easy. Now, if you check on the Radio Master website, the operational voltage for the Zorro is 6.6 .6 to 8.4 volts. And you'll notice that the defaults on the radio that I've got are six to eight. So clearly that's wrong. So let's set those up to 6.6 .6 up to 8.4. Fantastic. As you can see here, there's lots of stuff you can change in here. Beat volume, beat length, beat pitch, all sorts of things. You can play around with those to your heart's content. But these are the essentials, so let's scroll down here. This is the one we want. Alarms, battery low. It's set at 6.5, which is lower than the minimum operational voltage, which makes no sense. So if you do a quick calculation, you'll find that 15% of the maximum battery voltage is about 6.9 volts. So I'm going to set that to 6.9. You can set it lower if you want maybe 6.7, 6.8, entirely up to you. There we go. Those are all the essentials that you need to set up and check when you get a new radio. Now that's all sorted, we can start creating a new model. I'll do this for a quad, but if you've got a plane or a wing, you'll need to adjust what controls and switches you need, but it's all the same type of thing. To create a model, just long press the model button and here you've got a list of all your existing models. And scroll down to an empty slot and long press return. We say create model. All you need to do then is page across to page number two, and we'll give the model a name. Let's call it, I don't know, Nano. So press return and scroll through till you get to press return. Then we'll go. Yeah. When you finish, just press return. And then we scroll up and we need to choose which of the RF modules we're going to use. And we're going to use the one that's internal to here, which is ELRS. So we set the internal RF module to CRSF. That's a crossfire protocol that ELRS uses. That's all you need to do. Press return. And we can scroll down here. 
there's a load of other stuff you can do in here but that's the essentials so if you now page across to page five and we need to set up some inputs so the buttons that I'm going to set up are an arm switch on this switch here a mode switch three position so we'll have angle and horizon and acro and I'll put turtle mode on this switch and maybe we'll just program one of these momentary switches here for the buzzer you can have whatever order you like but that's what I do for my quads you choose whatever you want to do so to set this up scroll down to an empty slot and press return and we need to give this input a name and we'll do this for the this switch up here which we're going to use for the arm so press return and just give it a name something sensible you've only got three characters which is a bit limiting but there we go that's all you need to do now if you scroll down to the source we need to select the switch that we're going to allocate to this input so you press return and then just flick the switch and that's done so you press return and return again and return again and that gets us list back to this list of all the inputs you can see we've got the arm there on SC which is that button there so let's allocate a few more so if we go down here and we'll call this one up here mode then scroll down to the source and we're going to use this switch here so press enter to select it and just flick it around press return when you're done press return again and now we're back on the input screen so let's select the button for turtle mode I'll call that let's just call it flip There we go and the source press return is going to be this button down here SF press return return again back to our list and we'll set up the last one we set up this button here for a buzzer so same thing again press return we just call this buzz there we go and we need to select a source so press return and then just press this button if I can find it there SA fantastic press return press return again so we've got all our inputs set up we've assigned physical switches to the inputs on edge TX we now need to connect those to the outputs so if we page across to page six this is the mixes page you can think of this as the outputs so we're going to go down to channel five press return and you can see it's already picked up the first source which is the arm switch so if you like this is connecting the input to the output within edge tx so you can call these whatever you like but it's best to give them the same name as the input just to save any confusion and we can press return that's done so we've now linked turn back here it becomes a bit more obvious we've now linked the input which was the arm switch down here to an output and the source is arm all very straightforward so we need to do that for the other three inputs there we go that's all very straightforward so we've created this list of inputs and we've connected them to our outputs and this is pretty much ready to go but we can take it a step further what we can do is allocate audios to each of these switches so when you flip this up it says armed mode whatever you like so if we scroll across to special functions which is page 10 press return and we just need to 
choose the switch that we want. So we're going to choose this one here. You can select it by scrolling around, but if, you, if you've got it selected for editing, then it will just select it. Now notice what it's doing is it's showing your direction. So it's not just the switch, it's the position of the switch. So we want switch up to be armed, which is great. Press return, scroll across to here. And what we're gonna do is play a track. So select that, scroll across to here, and now we need to choose a track, which will be armed. Fantastic, that's all done. So very simple. So let's do the mode switch. Press return and remember to select the position that you want. So I'm going to select this so that back is in angle mode. Return and we're going to play track again. And the audio, the, all these audio files are stored on the SD card. So you can change the voices if you want to. So we're going to go flight mode, angle, return. Let's just try that. Flight mode, angle. Fantastic. So let's do the same switch. Flight mode, angle. But we need to put it in the middle position. We'll make that horizon. And we need the same Flight switch. The switch in the up position, which is going to be acro. Play track. Flight mode, acro, return. Flight mode, angle. Flight mode, horizon. Flight mode, acro. There we go. Flight mode, angle. So let's do one for the turtle mode. So we scroll down here. And it's that position. Scroll across and we're going to play track. Don't get confused, it's not play sound, it's play track. And we need turtle mode, which is down here somewhere. This was a custom voice that I set up. Turtle, where are we? Turtle. Return, return. Let's see if that works. Turtle mode activated. That's it. You don't have to set up the sounds if you don't want to, but it's a cute feature. And sometimes when you've got your goggles on, it at least gives you some confirmation that you flick the switch. And flight mode horizon, flight mode acro. So that's the basics done, and you can now bind the transmitter to the receiver, set up beta flight, and you're good to go flying. Remember that Edge TX is very flexible, and there's lots more you can configure. Things like flight countdown timers with audio feedback, logical switches and special functions. And you can configure the switches and the buttons on here to do pretty much whatever you want. But that's all for another video. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that helpful, why not subscribe and maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. There's all the usual social media links in the description. And I'll see you next time.